despite this being an autumnal windy day, we've taken out the Mazda MX-5. That's right, we're in Harrogate and we've got the 1.5 Sky Active engine. The car starts at just over 23,000, but this model is just over 24,000, but it's got some options. In this micro review, I'm going to be taking a look at the exterior styling. I'll be looking at the interior, the build quality, the functionality. I'll then be driving it and we'll bring you our verdict on whether or not this is the car for you. You like cars, love car shows, love the automotive world. Well, why not subscribe to Planet Auto? Now, the first thing you're probably asking yourself is how easy is it to get in at six foot three? Well, as you can see, pretty simple. The next thing you're probably asking yourself is, how easy is it to put the roof up? You pop that, you grab this, and you literally do that. Lock on and da-da, you're done. Now that is a really quick roof, so it's very similar to the 124, isn't it? The seats are very comfortable, they're leather, they're stitched. You've got soft touch materials everywhere you look. Everything is wrapped in leather, to be honest. You've got stitching down the dash, you've got soft touch plastics. There's a mix of metals as well. Switch gear feels very good as well. When it comes to functionality, you've got electric windows, you've got electrically adjusted mirrors, you've got a basic fuel computer, you've got cruise control, lane keep assist, media controls on the steering wheel, rain sensing wipers, automatic lights. When it comes to the infotainment system, it's touch screen, it's got Bluetooth, it's got DAB, and it's got sat-nav too. Underneath, you've got, you've got a start-stop engine button, which has got a nice chrome surround around it. You've also got chrome surrounds, and very, well, they feel really cool, the switch gear for the heater and the air conditioning. You've got USBs. You've also got heated seats, and the media control for your infotainment system. When it comes to practicality, I'm six foot three. As you can see, I've got ample headroom. I've also got ample legroom as well. Quite a bit of adjustment in the seat it is all manual you've also got height and reach adjustment in the steering wheel too when it comes to storage right well you do have no glove box but instead you do have this you get a couple of bottles of water in there considering this is a two-seater convertible storage is ample you lift up this leather door here and you can fit say something like your phone in there or house keys and this car's got cup holders too you've got two here but as you've noticed they are removable and it just goes in there. When it comes to the exterior styling of the MX-5, you've got these angular good looks and this red color really sets the car off well. You've got these 16 inch alloy wheels, automatic headlamps, electrically operated door mirrors. Now you may be thinking the dimensions do look very similar to the 124. Well, that's because they are. You do have keyless entry, you can see the Bose symbol on the side of the seats, that's for the speakers, they sound really good. The convertible top is manual but it's nice and easy, you can do it with one hand. And coming to the back of the car, you do have rear parking sensors and a decent sized boot for a car this size. You can get a couple of bags of shopping or a weekend away bag in there. So what's the Mazda MX-5 like to drive? Well, it's fair to say that it's a proper driver's car. It really is, isn't it? It comes with a 1.5 engine. This isn't the most powerful engine either, and it's got Sky Active technology. Well, saying that this isn't the most powerful, I do still think it's very manageable. You know, it's very manageable, but it's also economical, and it doesn't feel underpowered at all to me. Not at all. That's what I like about these cars though. You've got that feel of rear wheel drive, haven't you? Which gives you a real driver's perspective. Mm. Along with if that, that's the word. Along with the short shift six speed gearbox, the agile handling, yes. and a relatively comfortable ride, it makes it a really enjoyable experience, a really sporty experience. Well, exactly, it's your perfect Sunday car, Monday car, Tuesday car, and, <laughs> and, and. Well, so, well, that's it, and it's through summer, winter, autumn, and yeah. spring. You can use this car every day. Yes, you can. But it's really good fun. Oh, it is. And it looks the part, too. Now, there we go. As you can see, Michael got it a little bit sideways out of the junction. That's a really nice shift. The ratios are really nice as well. Yeah. It's, it's a driver's gearbox. The steering is very agile. It has a really nice direction of where the car's going, but isn't too heavy. No. 
Well, that's it. You've got the rear wheels driving the car and you've got the front wheels steering the car. And the crazy cyclist. But hey, I mean, just listen to the tone of the engine. Overall, this is a very cool car, isn't it? That's it. It's, a, it's, it's oh, I, I'm lost for words. Yeah, exactly. But that's what you want. You want that in a two-seater convertible. And you can get your day bag in there, your night bag, your weekend bag, your shopping. It's not the biggest boot in the world, but it's not going to be. It's not the most practical car either. No. But it's not supposed to be. That's it's supposed to be fun. So what's our verdict of the Mazda MX-5? It's your sporty summer, winter, autumn, every season convertible, isn't it? Your two-seater. It's a sports car that you can use every day. It's practical enough. You can fit you know, a weekend away bag and some shopping in there. It's rather and economical if you don't hammer it. Yeah, it's what, 36 to a gallon, 38 to a gallon? It's and that's the way we drive. Definitely. Um, and it's a great car to drive. It's so much fun. Yeah, you for more great impartial car reviews, please subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions about the MX-5, leave it in the comment section below. Thank you.